Now, Pascal principle is applied in hydraulic system. Okay, so this hydraulic system it apply a Pascal's principle. Right? You must know this as well, okay? Because then ex sometime in exam they will ask you, okay, in hydraulic system, what are the uh, what are the principles that's uh, applied? What the physics principles apply in hydraulic system? Right? Then you should know that it's a Pascal's principle. So a hydraulic system applies Pascal's principle in its working mechanism, and uh, it can be used as a force multiplier. Force multiplier means that it can multiply the force. Multiply the force means that if you give two newton, you can get four. Or you give two newton, you can get six newton. You give two newton, maybe you can get twenty newton. Or you you give two newton, then you get a uh, hundred newtons. Okay, so this hydraulic system it can multiply the force that you give to it. You give it a small force, it will multiply the force and give you the big force. Okay, so that's why it's called a force multiplier. So hydraulic system can uh, act as a force multiplier. Uh, so this is the illustrations of a hydraulic system. So in this hydraulic system, a small force, you give a small force F1 to the small pistons, it will produce a large force, a large force at the large pistons. A uh, small force give to the small pistons, produces a large force at the large pistons. So if you want to produce a larger force, uh, okay, then the force must give to the small pistons uh, to produce a larger force at the large at the large pistons. But if you want to reduce the force, you want to reduce the force, then the force give to the large pistons, and then the force will be smaller at the smaller pistons. Okay? So the larger the pistons, the the the, the greater the force. Eh? What we discussed in previous lesson is that if the same force, eh, same force give to a larger area, the pressure will be smaller. Or the force give to the smaller area, the pressure will be larger. It's not large pistons, smaller force, no. Eh? That's, a, that's about the pressure, not the force. Eh? Okay, larger area, uh, smaller pressure. Not larger area, smaller force. So the pressure due to the force F1 is transmitted by the liquid to the large pistons. Eh? So you give a small pressure to uh, small pistons. Eh? So this pressure will be transmitted to, throughout the liquid and then it will go to uh, the large pistons. So the pressure will go here, okay, every part of the liquid, uh, including the large pistons. So if you give, let's say you give uh, 100 Pascal. So this point will experience extra 100 Pascal. This point will experience extra 100 Pascal. Uh, this point will experience extra 100, 100 Pascal. This point, this point. So every part uh, will experience uh, extra 100 Pascal, including the big pistons also it will experience 100 pascals extra pressure so if you give a small pressure to the small piston this pressure will be transmitted to the large piston let's say the force that you give to the small piston is f1 and the area of the small piston is a1 therefore the pressure the pressure at the small piston is equal to f1 over a1 because pressure is force over area pressure equal to force over area so the pressure that you apply to the small piston is equal to the force one divided by the area one the pressure at the large pistons uh, will be a uh, p2 equal to f2 a2 okay and then according to pascal's principles if you give a pressure here 200 pascals then the pressure here must also be 200 pascal if they are at the same levels. Eh? So the pressure that you give here is equal to the pressure that received here. Therefore, pressure one must be equal to pressure two. Okay, because you give 200 pressure, here also 200 pressure. So pressure one equal to pressure two. Eh? Okay, you can say P1 equal to P2. And P1 is equal to force one over area one. And P2 is equal to force two over area 2 uh, okay then we have this formula f1 over a1 equals to f2 over a2 uh, which is this one this formula uh so for a hydraulic system if they are at the same levels okay usually they will give you same level in spn they will give you same levels okay if it's not the same levels then the calculation may be a little bit different uh, okay but if the two pistons is at the same levels then uh 
the pressure here equal to the pressure here. Therefore, F1 over A1 equal to F2 over A2.